Hello Libras. This is your ex reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. Hmm. That's what's going on for you guys today. Hmm. Starting over. Starting over. Looking for some excitement, I feel like, in your life currently. Um... Something that you're interested in may not be this individual, but there's definitely something that I feel like has piqued your interest here. Okay. Let's see what's going on with your ex. I feel like this person is it's probably a little obsessed with you. I just saw the devil card there. Um, feeling like they just love you, love you, love you so much. Scorpio energy there. Want to say something to you. Um, kind of eager, but, you know, still kind of hesitant at the same time here. Okay. Um, this person is feeling successful around something. Maybe they are, you know, trying to start dating again, um, getting recognition on their job even. Uh, but this person is feeling like you have blocked them. Okay. Maybe you have. But they're feeling, very, they're feeling like you've blocked them. Um, but they're trying to get the attention um, elsewhere. Okay, because maybe you guys are not giving them the attention, attention right now. You have stood your ground on some things. And um, yeah, just not having the nonsense, I feel. Let's see how you perceive your ex. How does Libra perceive their ex? The Hierophant. Hmm. Maybe they need to learn a thing or two. <laughs> is what I'm getting here. Um, I think this was definitely somebody that you probably felt like, you know, you wanted to date at one point in time, but I don't really think you saw this person as like um, a potential life mate. You know, I think you guys had some good times together. You probably had good sex together even, um, but I don't think you saw long-term success with him. Taurus energy right there. Maybe they were a little boring for you. Maybe you felt like you were always the one that was um, like initiating conversation, um, initiating dates, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see how your ex perceives you. Looks like emotionally stable. I saw the King of Cups there. Um, they, they feel they have a lot of good memories of you guys. I saw with the Six of Cups. Hmm. This person feels like they could really be happy with you. That you guys could be happy together. Okay. And um, I feel like, you know, they want to move past any issues that you guys have had before in the past. Just kind of go on and see where you guys can go is what I'm getting with this. Okay. Yeah. They want to be with you. This person, and, and you know, that's what they have in their head. I just saw judgment right there. They have decided that you are the one, whether or not you feel the same way. Okay. They probably haven't said that, but, um, that's what they're thinking. That high priest is being there. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here. Hmm. We have temperance there. I think you guys, for the most part, you're open to it. But I think just for right now, you're wanting like, um, I think you're on a different path. I think you're more concerned with your inner happiness, um, doing things that you feel like are good for you. And right now, I just don't get that you feel this person is what's good for you, okay? And you're using your logic in this situation, doing what you feel is right for you here with justice under the bottom of the deck. You know, that that is the decision that you have come to right now. <clears throat> Let's see how they feel about getting back together here. How does Libra's ex feel about getting back together? There's the magician. They really want this to happen. Hmm. And whenever I see the magician, um, it's like, you know, <laughs> the power is in their hands, I feel like. They have they have all of the aces right there to do with at their will, okay? So they need to use whatever's in their little magic bag and um, make it happen, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> the King of Swords. Hmm. They're trying to act like they don't want to. They're trying to act like they can be good. They'll be good without you. 
but at the same time it's like you know they're trying to block this out of their head and I feel like it's because you guys probably have blocked them you're not um, accepting any communication from them you're not talking to them um, and you're just kind of going on about your merry little life is what they feel but at the same time you know and they're coming across at cross as aloof um, not really caring much but deep down inside they feel like you know you guys are the one they feel like you're the one okay still wanting to move on with you leaving you know whatever issues you guys have had with each other between each other um, behind okay let's see how you guys can help this situation how can Libra help this situation along if you even want to Let's see, how can Libra help this situation along? Hmm. Giving a little. Sharing your time with this person. Working it out. You know, it's all about being there for each other. And, you know, Tempers is 16. Okay. And 1 and 6 is 7. It's a heavenly number. So, you know, as above. Okay. And then I saw the magician for them. So below. Okay. So this person was placed in your path for a reason. And I feel like it's really kind of up to you guys to decide, you know, what it is that you want to make of this. I do feel like this person should be the initiator. Just because I saw the magician, you know, in their deck. Like it's in their hands. Um, they need to be the one that actually like sparks up a conversation, you know, let you know how they really feel about you, um, what they actually want with you, and just be honest about it. Because right now, I don't feel like this person has been honest with you about their feelings because they have their back turned to the Ten of Cups, how they're really feeling. Okay. So, but it's for you guys to actually give this person some time if they actually, you know, do take it upon themselves to initiate something here. Something like significant though. I mean, not pebbles, you know, not crumbs. Please don't try to throw me breadcrumbs because it's going to be shot down. And that's how I feel like you guys are feeling right now, okay? And then here we go with justice again under the bottom of the deck. Still for you guys, justice and a six of swords right here, all right? For them, still there, okay? So right now it's like you're deciding that moving on is what's best for you, but they want to move on with you. Okay, so let's see <clears throat> how can they increase the chances of you guys getting back together as I split the deck. I see the Ace of Wands, okay. Extending that olive branch to you guys. Sparking this conversation. Taking the, the action. Initiating it, okay. Let's see how can they help to bring this back together. Then we have the Ace of Cups. I cannot make this shit up, okay. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, being supportive, showing you that they care that what they really want from you, okay? Waking up, waking up, and and just kind of killing that ego, um, you know, getting rid of that, that mess that, you know, they feel like it's working for them, because it's not, obviously, with the tower here. There's something that needs to be brought down, needs to be demolished here. Ego, um, whether you feel like acting hard, um, is getting you somewhere like you're the man or you're the woman, it's not working. Okay? To identify those things that are not working and shut that shit down. Okay? That's what they need to do. Stop being so aloof, stop being so secretive. Um, yeah, all of that in the above. Okay, and then again, here we go with the Six of Wands, Six of Swords under the bottom of the deck. Wanting to move on with you. Let's let that shit go, Libras, is what they're wanting. Let's see what the potential outcome is for Libra and their ex. What is the potential outcome here? The potential outcome. And then we have Justice again. Mm. I think both of you, I think you will at least do what's right for you. What you've been doing. <laughs> you know, um, but I think it's up to this person to really like spearhead this thing. So for this week, I just see you continuing to do you. Okay. It remains to be seen what, um, you know, look at this. Nine of cups under there. Continue to do you and be happy as a single person. Filling your own freaking cup. All right. So that's what I have for you guys for this week. 
and um, we have Taurus here, Scorpio, um, Aquarius is here, let's see, Pisces, Leo, um, Sagittarius energy guys. And um, so that's it and I'll be speaking with you soon.